Hey guys, my name is George and welcome to the second video of our Java series. Uh, basically what we're going to do today is that we're going to learn a little bit about the main method of a Java program and this comes basically with the structure of a program in Java. Okay, so I will explain that to you guys in a moment. Uh, first, I need you guys to create a .java file. In this case, I'm creating a file called uh, main.java which is the one that you are seeing over here okay so uh, right now what I want you to look at is uh, these uh, two uh, instructions over here there is one that says package source and there is another one that says public class main okay so in Java when you want to specify the directory of where that Java file is stored you will define it uh, with package so this source actually is the name of the directory where I'm storing this Java file so this is called the source this is source file and inside this file I have the main Java file okay this is main.java file which is going to be compiled into a Java program now the second thing that you'll see over here this is a class now classes in Java are basically templates for creating objects and this is because Java is actually an object-oriented uh, language uh, you know for object-oriented programming and uh, this is something that maybe you won't understand right now however you need to do understand that this is going to be really important for creating Java applications because it's another uh, way of uh, thinking of how to create programs uh, for now uh, what you need to know is that this is going to wrap all your code and inside this main class you will define something that is called the main method now this main method is defined uh, as it follows it is public static void main and be sure to write main in lowercase letters and I'll, I almost forgot the main class is called main uh, don't forget to always use an uppercase letter and the name of the class have to be the same name of the files if my file is called main your class is going to be called main okay if your file is called main you can call this uh, Java something okay this is going to be wrong and this is going to be an, an error in your program so the name of the class needs to be the actual name of the file and always with uppercase letters don't ever forget that now um, uh, let's keep going with the static void main method this method is going to be actually like the entry point of your program so this is going to be a a start point where uh, the java runtime environment will actually know where to start uh, reading your code so for example over here this has to go like this it is always uh, like this uh, the main uh, method it is called public stack void main and then you will write this uh, string arguments over here and right inside these uh, brackets you can write some instructions for example system.out.println will uh, print some message uh, into your console for example this is a message and if you run this code you will actually see the result over here this is a message now so this is the result that you get uh, when you put some code inside the main method however if you try to run this in uh, another method let's say that we create a method called print something okay so this is basically a code that will actually try to print some message in the screen so I will put over here printing something okay so if I get this code over here and try to run this program you will not see this uh, printing something in the output of our program because it is not in the main method now a method which is uh, what you see over here it is uh, this public static void main and also this public void print something they are like uh, tiny blocks where you can define pieces of code so they can be stored uh, somewhere in your program if you want to uh, access those pieces of code you will need to remember that the main method is the one that will always execute by default and if you want to access another method for example this uh, print something you want to call it uh, from other methods for example 
over here I will write print something and I will make this static. I will explain that uh, later in the series. Uh, it is not uh, like really important for now. Uh, and if you do this and you run the program, you will see the result being this message and then printing something. Okay, so that guys is basically how a Java program is structured and that is how the main method works. It is always the same, you can always uh, use uh, this uh, formula, like, it is basically like a formula, however, you can always use this structure to start your programs and getting them to actually do something. If you uh, remove this, for example, uh, you leave uh, void print something and you have no main method and you run your program you will get nothing you will get exception thread main no main method and you will get an error in your code so with that being said guys i hope you guys uh, actually liked uh, this tutorial if you did don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel so see you guys in the next video bye bye